The Lions kick off, and they need a strong start. He's certainly back in international rugby. Okay. Uh -huh. Yellow card. I think it's at least a yellow card. At least, at least a yellow. A yellow. Six. After you put your finger, I don't know exactly. Uh, that is dangerous. No, no, you know to deliberate. It's yellow, not red. Oh, there, Luke Fitzgerald, you can see that. Oh, we've seen penalties given, we've seen red cards given for that. They've got a man over in the scrum. Here's the incident again, and he's working his eyes, though, with his left hand. That is gouging in anyone's eyes. He's lucky to be coming back. It's another one of those, you know what, nearly moments. Now O'Driscoll's responding to what happened there. And he needs to keep his cool. Everybody gets to their feet in the stadium and everybody gets involved in the fracas. It's what the first test left, but not this one. And O'Driscoll standing up to big Victor Matfield there. Oh, the Lions have South Africa rattled. And they're not taking a backward step in Pretoria. Brilliant play from O'Driscoll's fellow Irishmen, the Rob Carney and Tommy Bow, the back three, here's the fight. O'Driscoll catches one from Matfield, he says, I don't care how tall you are, have some of this. Everyone is in. Simon Shaw, Stephen Jones, oh, he's got it out the side to Carney, Bow's outside, Carney's going straight, must be finished. Great offload by Stephen Jones, but Rob Carney, he played so well off the bench. It would have been so easy to panic and give the early ball, and he waited and he forced the question onto the Springbok defence, and they didn't have the answer there. Brilliant play, though. Jones's offload is superb. Carney plucks it. Stain wants him to give it. Peterson comes, he goes low, no doubt about that. The Irish fullback has had a brilliant start, but that is class from Stephen Jones. Stain fixed in no man's space. JP Peterson, one of the best covering tacklers in the world. South Africa stopped the Lions last week, they didn't this time. The two balls in the second row for South Africa. Now, for it a prayer. Oh, JP Peterson! of the box uh, and that is some reply that's a great set piece try Joanne Smith so good at the tail of the liner Furi Dupri a constant threat but the line of that man JP Peterson majestic ball at the tail into the you can see Wallace is held there and he just comes late Peterson David Wallace is held by the running threat of the scrum half and there's a meter gap and he's straight through it there you can see Wallace, he needs to be going wide, but he can't let the scrum off out of his sight. Brilliant repost from South Africa. Ops for the boot, Carney will opt for his. Oh, that's high. The referee's given it. Could be another Tony yellow card, reflex, this. But I don't want Sorry. anymore, OK? You know, you know what you I mean. It's, not, it's not only a penalty, because it's a reflex. The reflex, says Christophe Berdos. Must have been very close to the front of his mind, that yellow card. Carney can't go anywhere. No, that's not a yellow card. No. The banner. Oh, that's what you want, Brian O'Driscoll. Leveled him. The Beast. His Pierre Spies. Oh, oh Driscoll. Brian O'Driscoll on penalty. Danny Rousseau. Here's Francois Stein. He's not given a penalty up. Well, Driscoll leveled Danny Rousseau there. I thought Christoph Burdos said immediately advantage. 
Was he saying a knock on from O'Driscoll? He must have been. He was, and then advantage called over. Both players have been hurt. I'm not sure about the legality of the challenge. Well, let's just watch now. Does O'Driscoll get two arms around him? No, he does not, but it's Danny Rousseau. He, he levels him. Look at that. You never want to see that. You never want to see that. Spies, Dupreer, oh, and Banner been sliced open before, and the Lions have been sliced open again. This time by the other wing, Brian Habana. That was world class. It really was. And there we saw in that attack the trust that exists within this team, built over a long period of time. They weren't panicking, and they're right back in it. Well, that's a great try because the Lions pack shouldn't be pressed by anything. Is there a block here from Fouri that sets it up for Habana? I'd like to see it again. But again, the scrum up is running the line. There's decoy runs. There is a block. I don't actually think he takes anyone out. For South Africa, they are back in this game. And Stewart. Jack Fouri, watch this now. He runs the line to hold the defence. And all that does, it opens it for O'Driscoll. He doesn't need long. He's so quick. Just to check for a second, nobody is balked. It opens up half a metre, the electric pace of Brian Habana. Six and a half minutes, that's all there is. And the man on the far side! It's Faree, he's got power! Oh, has he got it down if he has? It could be a history-making finish. Shark Faree! Gave them the extra man. The first tackle didn't make it. Bo comes in now. Oh, hang on. It's very hard to say there. And that angle, it's a score, but it's a reverse. It's this angle now, the foot. This angle will tell us. Touch. Touch. No try. And suddenly, the cheers start to die down. No, we need to see the other one. It's clearly placed. No, this isn't the one, is it? Where's the reverse angle? It's the reverse we need to see again. There is no... It's a brilliant finish by Faree. It's fabulous. But it's the right foot and it skirts and it touches. And I don't see why we're seeing that one, because that... is a try from the ball perspective, but it's the right foot. Christoph, I have a decision for you. It's going to be a try. You may award a try. Yes, you may award a try. And you are going to hear the biggest roar. If the foot in touch is die, can you check? Bryce the touch shot. Bryce Lawrence. Number 20 doubtful. Blue, who is not the ball carrier, his foot goes into touch. Bryce there Lawrence. There is no clear evidence of the player carrying the ball yeah. with the foot going into touch. Okay. The television match official is Stuart try. Dickinson. You Remember him from the World blue, Cup blue, final. Number 20 blue, who is not the ball carrier. Yeah, OK, great. His bandage reflecting the injuries that the Lions have suffered in this match. Oh, it's a penalty! Why? Ogar has taken his man out in the air. Oh no, the decision yeah. is for taking the man Why out of the air. Do Why do it? Because that's what Test Match Rugby does to you. It's a hot 25 all, and Ogar is thinking we've got to get this ball back to win it. And he just catches Fouri Dupria, who rolls over. You know, he's just glanced him. And that gives Mornay Stain a chance. 54 metres. And at 54 metres in Pretoria, that is probably 45 metres elsewhere. Is he about to write his name into the rugby history books? He most certainly is. And that's it. It's official. The wait is over for South African rugby. The Rainbow Nation has found its missing pot of gold. The World Cup secure. The Lions series win was the missing link.